I didn't bring my boots. It's border and boots on adventures, and I didn't wear boots. Uh, Today we are headed to the beach. Uh, it is 11.30, and I have to say it's like 35 degrees Celsius. I have no idea what that is in Fahrenheit. Uh, it's about an hour to the beach from here. I got borders in the back there. Hey, Freudy. We going to the beach, buddy? So I think he's excited. It's very hot. Um, you excited to go to the beach, buddy? So he has a lot to say. Um. The beach we're visiting today is at Pinery Provincial Park, which was established in 1975 to help preserve oak savanna and dunicology. The park is located near Grand Van. I've been coming here since I was a kid. It's one of my favorite beaches, and I hope that you enjoy it. Do you want to go for a swim? Do you want to go for a swim? Yeah? Were you not a fan of swimming? You didn't go for a swim, did ya? I mean, you sort of did. The second he can't touch the ground, he's like, no. And there's also like a rock bar. And with the rock bar, I think he doesn't like the feeling of it on his feet. <laughs> he's a little beside himself. That's like four feet into the water. That's as far as he's willing to, to go. And then he wants to go straight out. Which is which is fine. Like if he that's what he wants to do. That's what he wants to do. We have officially changed spots. It's tied to a piece of a giant piece of driftwood. It's gorgeous. Piece of driftwood actually. Uh, I'm gonna go get a swim and then at two o'clock we're gonna go hit a trail and um, by three we're gonna head out. So He barked the entire time I went in the water. Ideally I'd spend like nine, ten hours in this water. I think what we'll do now is we'll go for a little bit of a walk up and down the beach. Sir, do you want to go for a walk? Yeah, you do? Okay, we'll go. The rocks on the beach are absolutely stunning. There are so many different colors. I wish I could stay till sunset because it is absolutely gorgeous. So it's 10 to 2 and we're back at our piece of driftwood. Um, we walked up the beach, we met a few other dogs. Uh, there was a Sheltie, no sorry, there's two Shelties that uh, came and said hi to Floyd and them. So yeah, it was a good little walk up the beach and uh, it isn't too crowded or anything so social distancing is completely doable and all that sort of thing. Floyd wasn't, he's laying on my feet. <laughs> uh, he wasn't so into the water, but he did like going up the beach and saying hey to the other dogs and there's all these pretty stones. My feet hurt a little bit from the stones, but I can't complain. What I'm going to do is hopefully jump in the water one more time and then we're going to go do a little hike. Nothing long because I definitely brought the I didn't bring my boots. It's border and boots on adventures, and I didn't wear boots. Uh, I wore little slip-on shoes, because I thought the beach was going to be more of a thing. I was wrong, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I can wear my other shoes this time, and it'll be good, and we'll do a little hike, and then about 3 o'clock we're going to, probably actually like 10 to 3, we're going to aim to be back in the vehicle, because we've got to get out of the park. Gotta get to uh, Stratford to get the COVID shot, which I've already mentioned like eight times, but I'm, I'm excited. Uh, yeah, I 
I am excited that, that we're here at this point. Um, so yeah, just gonna go take another dip. So, I did not get to go back in the water, but that's okay. Uh, we're gonna go on a hike, it's 2.05, so. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go on a hike. Floyd's in the car, just threw the garbage out in the garbage pail there. I'm just gonna wash my feet off at the little foot washing station. The windows are, are rolled down and I can see Floyd right from here. He's on the other side of this camera. Uh, yeah, gonna wash off my feet and then we're gonna go for a, uh, a little hike. Go for a hike? Yeah? It is really hot out, so I'm gonna put one of my little squincher electrolyte drink packs into my water bottle here. Um, it essentially just turns your water into Gatorade. So driving to the trail took longer than anticipated and um, it's about 2.30 so that was like a half an hour drive through the park. I did get lost at one point, kind of had to turn around but just at the end there was Headed woodpecker is here. That was just added to the species at risk list for Ontario. Right now I'm covered in dog hair, sunscreen, sand, and uh, some caterpillars. <laughs> Is it worth it? I, I think so. And for our area, it's one of the, the um, Floyd just tripped me, one of the uh, best places to go. <laughs> so I've walked this path wrong, somehow, and um, we're back at the beginning already, and it's been 20 minutes tops. So I've obviously missed a turn somewhere. We found what we were looking for. We missed it. This little side lookout trail. So we're walking and I noticed this plant here. So this is some wild columbine growing. So we've made it to the lookout and in a second I'll turn the camera around and show you what it, what view we're looking at. I'm gonna close out Boots and Borders on Adventures for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I say today's a success. The beach was, um, you know, maybe not the most interesting place for Floyd today, um, but I think with time he'd get more accustomed to it. Last summer I took him out to a beach in the Key Swim uh, with me and my family, and he had no problem. But it was a lot smaller, a lot less going on. Uh, there weren't waves like there are today. Uh, and it was in a stony bottom, so maybe that made a difference. I'm not really sure. He definitely enjoyed this hike. He's going to be sad it's over. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, I hope you enjoyed coming on our adventure with us, and I hope that you are out there planning and uh, doing your own adventures as well.